Hey guys, so it's finally surgery day. I'm so excited. My surgery is at 5 p.m. tonight. It is, I think it's around almost 11. I just have to run to the bank fast and then I have to come home, shower, wash my hair, take off my makeup, and just get ready. I took off my nail polish last night. I not love nail polish on my hands or feet. So I feel a little bit naked. I bought something yesterday that I wanted to show you guys. I'm so excited. Look what I did. I bought another pair of Chanel Espadrille. I'm dying for them. I, my sister Allie actually told me that they got these in and it was around this time last year that I had gotten the um, all black ones, my black on black Chanel uh, lambskin Espadrilles. So I was like, that makes perfect sense. So I literally ran downtown last night. I called them and I was like, can you please put a pair on the side for me? And they put them on the side, I went um, I love, love, love them. They got them on Saturday and only they only had a few sizes left. So if you're in Mon the Montreal area and you ha are like a size 6, or I think they were out of size 38 and 39, but if you're in like, if I would call if you're in the Montreal area and you want them because they did just get them in. They don't have the black on black. They didn't release them this um, sum spring summer collection. They're releasing them in fall, he said, but they do have the classic nude on black. So I'm so happy I have the nude on black. I have the black on black and I think I'm pretty good for my espadrilles. So I just wanted to share that with you. I'm going to wear them today. I'm so excited. I'll show you what they look on. I did my lips um, again. They're still swollen. I'm trying to mold them. She put it more on the side, which I don't really love. I'm like trying to mold them because I looked online and like you can like disperse the product. So I have to go back and tell her to put a little bit more there. I'm happy they're still swollen, so don't go crazy on me. They're still pretty swollen. Um, and they will go down for sure. So, but other than that, I'm pretty happy. I wanted full lips and I finally have full lips. I'm happy with them. Um, I finally have full lips. Uh, I was a little bit regretful of them because, to be honest, I did not not love my lips before, but then I went with my mom to her appointment, and the doctor was like, your lips are so, like, it was true, like, this side was smaller than this side, so she was like, let me just put some, like, even it out. So she evened it out, I think eventually, like, in a while, it'll look better, like, once it all settles in. Right now, it's, like, a little bit scary. Um, I faked tan last night. And I didn't really wash it off that well if you're wondering why I look so brown. Back to this point of this vlog, I am not, my surgery's at 5 like I said. I have to be there at 4.15. I had to stop eating at 10.30 this morning which is not terrible. I thought I would have to stop eating at 12 last night. But she said because it's so late you only don't have to eat 6 hours before. So I'm going to go do my last minute errands. And I think I'm going to pack, I'll show you what I wear to the hospital and all that. I think I'm going to pack a little bag because I'm going to wear leggings to the hospital, but I know that after my surgery, I'm going to want like sweatpants. <laughs> so I'm going to pack a little bag. I'll show you all of that, but I'm definitely going to be wearing my espadrilles. I love them so much. Literally, they are expensive. These were $800 Canadian, um, tax included. But they're lambskin, and that's why I can kind of justify them, because they are lambskin. I don't know if the canvas, canvas ones are cheaper, but I like lambskin. My black ones still look practically brand new, and I wear them all the time. Also, my other lamp, my other espadrilles are the only shoes I basically ever wear. I love them. They go with everything. So I was like, if I wear them as much as four pairs of shoes, it's kind of like the same thing. Honestly, if you're thinking of getting espadrilles, I would 100% recommend it. I love those shoes. I love them. And I don't know. Every No one can seem to find them. I don't know how I found them two years in a row. You just have to be really... They come out around this time of the year, so definitely call your Chanel Boutique and see if they have them. These are the espadrilles on. They're super cute. I'm just wearing this top is from Target. It's just a loose black long sleeve casual top. It's actually my sister's but it's really casual and I like it. My hair is just in a, um, a low ponytail just to run out. These are my TNA leggings. I really um, love them. You guys know. Also, I decided I'm taking out my belly ring because I'm not loving that vibe anymore. I liked it. I got it in grade 8, but I'm just like over Our new it. site went live today. I'm just relaxing a little bit before we have to leave at 3 o'clock. 
our new site went live. I'm so excited. I love it so much. It's literally everything we ever wanted. It's so much easier to use. I definitely think that our petite beaming uh, necklaces are the most popular. These are the most popular. And our rings are to die for. I haven't taken them off except today because I can't wear jewelry. So I'm just really excited. There's um, coupon codes I will leave down below for 10% off all orders or 15% off orders over $50. So that's our new site. If you want to go check it out, it will be linked down below. So I'm just going to show you my surgery outfit. I'm going really um, casual, obviously. I don't have any makeup on because you're not allowed to have any makeup on. I just have some cream. They said no cream, but my skin is so dry. It would literally crack off if I didn't have cream. My hair, I curled it because I'm not going to be able to do it for a long time and, well, a few days at least. And um, so I said, if it's done, it won't look like such a mess. Also, if I don't curl it or do anything to it, the ends look really brittle. It's I just did it so it's still kind of like tight, but it will um, calm down and look more natural. I don't have any jewelry on. I feel naked because obviously you're not allowed. The sweater is from Pink from Victoria's Secret. Um, I don't have on anything underneath just because I'm not going to put on a top after. I'm just going to zip this up over. I love this sweater. It's so soft and so comfy. I don't think there's anything on the back. Oh, it just says uh, pink on the back. These are my three-quarter length TNA um, Equinox leggings. They're really loose and really comfy. I also packed a pair of sweatpants from... Uh, Aritzia really loose black sweatpants was actually not that loose, but they're just easy to get on for after I just wanted to wear um, leggings there. I'm wearing my black um, Chanel espadrilles because they are a little bit looser and easier to get on and they just went with my outfit better than <laughs> the nude one. My hospital bag is just my Louis Vuitton never full. I'll show you guys what I have in here. So in here I have my medication. You have to bring your prescription. I have my wallet. I have the black leggings. I have my makeup just because I don't go anywhere without it. I have a brush, just like a pair of socks at the bottom. My sunglasses, and here I just have like more sunglasses and cream and stuff. I'm also gonna put a water bottle for like on my way home because I'm gonna be thirsty. I'm gonna want water, I know for sure. There's not much I have to bring. Um, just my Medicare card and stuff, so that is what I'm bringing to the hospital. I didn't film at the clinic. Everything happened really fast, but I'm home now. It is around 1230. I'm kind of like in and out of sleeping, but I can't stay asleep. Um, I had to get bandaged up. My sister did not get bandaged up because I didn't have like extra room in my pocket. And my doctor said like, I don't know when it was, if I was done and when I, if it, I don't know if it was because, um, sorry. I don't know if it was when I was done like off anesthesia or something like everyone kind of convulses and tenses up and um, he said that mine went up really high so he had to put bandages on me to keep them low and push them down so I haven't seen them like actually yet but this is what they look like so far um, you can see like it's apparently my mom said they look really big and um, my sister's like best friend said they look really big. So, I'm just here in my nice sweatpants, and I um, just took my pain meds. I'm going to try to go to sleep. I woke up so in so much pain. I thought I was going to wake up and, like, not feel anything like how I feel now. I woke up in so much pain, and I was really nauseous from the anesthesia. It was really bad. Um, but I didn't throw up or anything. It was just, like, unpleasant. Now I feel perfectly fine. There's just like a slight pressure on my chest. It's nothing terrible. It's just like a slight pressure on my chest. To me, like looking from here, they don't look that big. I went, my doctor is amazing. I recommend Dr. Sino to everyone. If you're looking into doing any plastic surgery, definitely check out um, Dr. Sino. He's like amazing. Um, he just, I'm still like massaging my lips. He makes you just feel so comfortable. I just, like, trusted him so much. I He's just, like, literally the best doctor I can ever imagine. 
um, while I was like falling under anesthesia, falling asleep, he was like sitting with me and like rubbing my arm and we like was like it's okay and I thought this was like so sweet I just thought that was like so sweet of him because you know you you are really nervous when you're going under anesthesia most people are I wasn't that nervous but I'm pretty like I was a little bit like nervous I wasn't sure how I was gonna react and he made it like really comfortable for me he checked up on me like a bajillion times after my surgery so everything went like amazing besides waking up feeling like absolute shit the nurses were so nice i like except one incident happened um one of the ner nurses was a little moody but um all of the nurses were so nice this one nurse was like talking to me after and like when i'm in pain when i'm nauseous i don't want to talk like it's just like i don't know it it but i was like she was so nice trying to make me feel better um and like I asked, she got me like Vaseline from my lips. It was she was really nice. The whole experience was just really nice. Um, I ended up getting three hundred and forty five cc's high profile silicone um, implants. So I didn't want them to be too big. And what's really what is really good about Doctor Sino is that he takes three sizes, like three test sizes, into the OR, which aren't the actual implants you get. And then um, he decides on the size like, like by lifting you up and seeing which one looks best. And then he decides based on that. Um, and he said that I w it was between 345 and 365. He said the 365 looked crazy on me. I'm really happy with 345 because I wanted to be able to see the boobs, but I didn't want to be like defined by my boobs. I didn't want people to like look at me and be like, oh my god, her boobs are huge. I just wanted to know they're there. And like obviously I'll probably like wish I went bigger if after a while, but like I'm really happy right now. My sister got 450 cc's, which they look really good on her. Her recovery was a lot better than mine. I think like I woke up because my surgery was at five, her surgery was at six fifteen. I think I woke up after her surgery was done so I was asleep after the anesthesia after the surgery for like a good half hour to hour I was like in and out and then I woke up and I hear she was talking coming out of her surgery like I don't remember anything that happened like I was just like asleep right after my surgery I was asleep for like a, a long time she was I heard her talking coming out of surgery and then right away she like tried to like move the curtain with her arm and the nurses were like so i just came because i'm a lot more mobile than tony so i came to give her as early yeah and like that you look good um i came to give her her uh pain medication i was in so it's like fine when i'm lying down when i yeah when you sat because it's like it's like Actually, gravity hold them up. yeah like it hurts yeah see tony has a bandage but it's more like under my arm what do you think? Like, is there something around it? There's like this big thing under, like is keeping them up and pushing oh. them down, so they're like. Hmm. It makes me feel compact. Yeah. So it comes off Friday. Hopefully tomorrow the pain will be better. Yeah. But you just took another morphine because you had one. You're allowed to take two every like. Does morphine make you nauseous? Um. No, I have a different one though. I was fine. I, I just don't want to be nauseous, but those pills work really well. Really? Because, like, I wasn't, like, I was still sick twice last night. I wasn't. Mm -hmm. I felt fine. I felt like I wasn't going to feel anything. I was nauseous after the surgery. Yeah. But I feel nice. Do you need a computer charger? Last night, Mom was being so loud. I know. Oh, it's nice in my bed, but you okay. don't want you to bend down. It's around 9.45, I think. I've been in and out of sleeping all day. Um, it, like, it hurts a lot right here. And here, it's just really tight everywhere. I think these bandages are, like, adding to the pain. Um, I have to eat something soon and take my antibiotics and, um, um, they gave me, like, because the antibiotics, well, I'm watching House, 
because the antibiotics, um, or one of the pills I'm taking, makes it like hard for you to go to the bathroom. So I have to take a like it's TMI, but I have to take like stool softeners. I also have Tylenol tablets. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be taking them both at the same time, like that and morphine. I should probably ask my doctor. The morphine is good. Um, it helps a lot. I don't think I'll be moving very much today because it really hurts. Like, um, like it's a lot of pressure, but also it, it like hurts. It's not throbbing or anything. I'm not joking when I feel like when people say they feel like they have weights on their chest. I'm not even joking. I wish I can like see, but they look pretty. Like I, I can't even hold the camera out. This isn't my nipple. This is, like, the bandage. But. They're swollen right now. I think it'll be a good size for me. Um, and, and I didn't want them big, like I said. So. I'm just watching House. I'm trying to get into it, but it's. I keep, like, trying to watch it, and I keep falling asleep. So it's, I can't, can't get into it. But apparently it's really good. I hope my mom gets up soon so she can make me, like, something to eat because I can't walk downstairs. Um, but I finally have boob. I was so sad when I woke up and saw this on me because Ali doesn't have it. And, um, I have it. But, I mean, they're keeping, they're pushing them down so that, too, is, like, hurting. I'm just scared for when they take off this tape. I don't even know if it goes all the way around. But that's what I'm doing. I was up at like 8. I wish I could sleep until like all later so I just don't feel it. But um, yeah, the pain is uh, 